Welcome to the digital download product walkthrough. In this video, I'll share with you how digital files can be sold through your photo merchant website, explain some of the new features and walk you through the customer journey of purchasing and downloading digital files. We'll then go into the admin interface to show you how to set up and customize digital products that meet your specific business requirements. This is our demonstration site. When I click on the add to shopping cart button, you will see that the shopping cart now has an additional digital files button right next to the packages button. When I select the tab, you can see that there are digital download products that are available for this image. Each product has a title and a price. You're able to set any retail prices for your products and for the first time, you can give away digital files for free. When I select a product, the preview panel displays more information, a title, a short description, the image resolution in pixels, and a summary of the license that is associated with this product. As you can see, the shopping cart total in the navigation now shows the number of items in the cart as opposed to the total value of the shopping cart. You can limit a file to only being available for a fixed amount of time, and you can also limit the amount of time the file can be downloaded. Once the order is confirmed, the order confirmation process is kicked off. The first thing they will see is the confirmation page. From here, they can view the receipt online or proceed directly to the My Downloads page to access their files. The customer will see the details for each product and can click on the download icon links to download the files to their computers. They can also download a zip file of all of the JPEGs in that particular order. At the same time, your customers will receive an email about their digital file order, which they can then click straight through to the My Downloads page. Going to the desktop, I can see the zip file, which when uncompressed, will reveal a folder with two files inside the actual JPEG file and a text file containing the license. Now let's go into the application interface and set up a customized digital product of our own. In the business tab, you will now see a new digital downloads tab. This is where you will create and edit your digital download products. The top panel shows us the current products that are available and we've created seven default products to get you started, but we do encourage you to either customize them or create new products from scratch. The second panel shows the available licenses to use in your products. And again, we provided you with four licenses to start you with, but we would encourage you to duplicate and customize them further. And the last panel is where you can assign a custom watermark for products that are downloaded. Next, let's create a new digital download product and make it available through our website. Click the new digital download button. Let's name it social sharing. I'll add a short description, which will also act as my sales pitch. Next, I will select the resolution of the image as megapixels. For this image, I'm going to choose half a megapixel. You will see to the right of the menu a rough approximation of what the pixel size might be and what size this file would print at if it was printed. I need to stress that this information is to be used as a guide only. An important thing to note at this point is that digital download products will only appear in the shopping cart if the resolution of the uploaded image is at least the same as the set megapixel resolution. What this means is, um, if you've only uploaded low res images into your photo merchant account, you will not be able to sell them at high resolutions. Next, select from the available licenses. Choose whether the download image is watermarked or not. And lastly, decide if you wanna place any condition of use on the image availability once it has been ordered. Leaving this blank will mean there are no restrictions on the downloads. Click Save, and you will now see this item appear in your digital downloads product list. If I want to personalize the license, I would duplicate an existing license and then edit it. But for the time being, let's just leave them as they are. But I am going to add a custom watermark for my downloaded files. The reason being is that I want my purchased images to retain my branding in a subtle way, whereas I want my global watermarks to be a little more obtrusive to prevent theft and reuse. Great. Now, in order for this product to appear on my site, I still needed to add it to a feature set and I need to set the retail pricing in a pricing model. Clicking on feature sets, you can see that I've created my own unique feature set. When I go into it, I can see the new product I've created in the available panel. And all I have to do is tick to select it, press the in button and move it to the active panel. Now it's available in any gallery that has this feature set associated to it but it won't appear until it has a price attached to it. Click on pricing model, and I'm going to click on the pricing model I've created earlier. You may notice that there is now a sub menu for each of the products available. I'm gonna click on digital downloads. At this point, all I need to do is add my retail prices 
and click save. And we're done. My new items should now appear in my shopping cart. If I flip back to my website and click the add to shopping cart button, I can now see the new digital download product and all of its preview information as we entered it earlier. And that wraps up our walkthrough of digital downloads. For more walkthroughs and tutorials, just click on the support tab in the interface and you will find step-by-step -step guides for setting up digital downloads. Bye for now.